loss of a man who had been part of the Chicago sports media landscape for more than half a century. Yeah, listeners, fans, and friends all sharing their memories of Les Grobstein, who managed to capture some of the greatest moments in Chicago sports history. WGN's Julian Cruz has more from Soldier Field. Good evening, Les Grobstein, not just beloved by his many loyal listeners, but widely admired by his fellow sports journalists for his kind manner and his tremendous knowledge of Chicago sports history. He remembered the mundane, like who was on deck in a 1983 Cubs game. The scores Mark Grody honoring his late colleague, Les Grobstein. He, he was a character. The Grobber, as he was known, covering Chicago sports for over 50 years. He was a super talented radio guy. That's the part that we forget, that he did five to seven hours of overnight radio every single night, and he pulled it off. If Clayton Kershaw comes back for the Dodgers with that rotation they got, you want to face them? I don't. Grobstein making an appearance on WGN Sports Feed through the decades covering some of Chicago's most famous and infamous moments in sports. Because if they're the real Chicago fans, they can kiss my Grobstein, one of the only sports reporters in town to have captured the profanity lace rant of Cubs manager Lee Aaliyah in 1983. What the am I supposed to do? Go out there and let my players get destroyed every day and be quiet about it? For the nickel dime people that show up? The don't even work. That's why they're out at the game. They only go out and get a job and find out what it's like to go out and earn a living. He was the first guy that put it out there. So, I mean, the, we, the world might not have heard it if not for Les Grobstein. Grobstein's colleagues telling us that they were shocked to hear the news of his death. He is said to have been found dead in his home Sunday in Elk Grove Village. At Soldier Field, Julian Cruz, WGN News. And that brings us to the bowl.